Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing 90-day renewals for visas here in Thailand. And a lot of folks have a lot of misconceptions about how the immigration system works. So let's start off with saying, yes, there are certain visas, most notably the education visa, which requires renewal every 90 days. There was a time when education visas could be issued in one-year increments, but as time went on, the education visa began to be viewed sort of askance by the, by the immigration apparatus, mostly in some cases, it began being abused by so-called sort of visa mill, in, in some cases, language schools, where they said folks were, you know, learning Thai, and they'd get an education visa, and then, you know, every year when they go down to get the education visa renewed, the officer would say Sawadee Kap to them, and that individual couldn't speak a word of Thai. And so they're sitting there saying, hey, you've been studying Thai ostensibly for three years. You know, why can't you say hello to me when, when, I'm, when I'm talking to you in Thai? And so things began to change, and one thing they did was they changed the education visa so that it became renewable every 90 days. Now, not all non-immigrant visas have to deal with this. For example, retirement visas, O retirement, OA, you're dealing with one-year stamps, but you do still have to do 90-day reporting. As we've discussed in other videos on this channel, you've got to continuously every 90 days make immigration aware of your present address, even if it hasn't changed, which can be a source of frustration and consternation among some of our viewers and clients, but that is still a requirement. But that's different than a renewal. You're not renewing the visa, you're just notifying regarding one's ongoing address. 